The Plasma Blade and the Pulse Plasma technology is, is really an advance on surgical technology that hasn't changed in 50 years. You realize that we can do things differently. We don't have to rely on something that we've been using for the last 20, 30, 40 years. What we're seeing in medicine is really a move to improving patient outcomes, you know, providing faster, quicker healing for patients, you know, less pain. And so when they told me I had cancer, it was like, oh my gosh. My name is Bobby Burroughs and I'm 72 and was recently diagnosed with DCIS cancer, breast cancer. And the minute I was diagnosed, my son referred me to Dr. Atai. And I had two or three other doctors who asked me, who is your doctor? And when I told them, uh, they told me she's the best. My name is Deanna Atai and I'm a breast surgeon. I was actually trained as a general surgeon and in 2004 I stopped doing general surgery and focused primarily on breast and that's what I've been doing ever since. Where technology is going in terms of breast surgery and breast cancer surgery, we're getting less and less invasive. We're getting more precise. The plasma blade fits into that whole scheme. The movement to minimally invasive, you know, really trying to minimize not only invasiveness but also the damage that you're doing. You know, you really want to control and minimize the collateral damage that happens with surgery. If you can minimize that through innovative technologies, new energy sources, um, new surgical approaches, you're really, patients are really going to benefit. When we do surgery, typically we'll use traditional cautery, electric cautery, to dissect the tissue, to control blood vessels so that you don't have a lot of bleeding, and take out the tumor or take out the mass. One problem with traditional cautery is the way that it works is by generating a high voltage and it actually burns the tissue. That's how it cuts through the tissue and that's how it seals the blood vessels so that you don't have bleeding. Well, anytime you're burning the tissue, you have problems potentially with the tissue healing. The difference with the plasma blade is I get the same ability to dissect the tumor out, I get the same ability to seal the blood vessels so I don't have bleeding but we're not damaging the normal tissue as much. So what that results in is less fluid that'll accumulate in the wound, faster healing, and less discomfort for the patient as well. Patients don't need as much pain medication after the surgery. I can make an incision. You'll see a glow around the tip and you'll see it cut the chicken. It really splits it on contact. I went in for my surgery and afterwards I had no pain. I had absolutely zero pain. I took no pain pills. Um, I used ice packs the first day. And beyond that, I had no discomfort at all. If it weren't for the incision, I wouldn't have known that I had been through a surgery. It was uh, just remarkable. And that's when she said, oh, well, I think it's probably the plasma blade that we used, which helps to only deal with the tissue that's involved and not affect the healthy tissue. So. Far be it for me to know what it was, but it was wonderful for me. 